Hey guys, it's me, Bagrisham, and today I'm going to show you a gaming PC build that you can make for $750 for this holiday season. This is going to be a great PC build that will play about every game you throw at it, with excellent settings like Batman Arkham Origins and Assassin's Creed Black Flag. You can easily play these games at 1080p, and for some older games like Saints Row 4, Battlefield 3, and Far Cry 3, you should be able to run perfectly maxed out with this system. This is an excellent PC that you should have for at least the next few years in terms of graphics cards. But remember that this PC is upgradable, you can always add on to the system. That being said, so let's get started with the build. For the processor, I chose the AMD FX6300. This is a 6-core processor clocked at 3.5GHz and is actually very easy to overclock. This is a hexa-core processor and is recommended for newer games like Battlefield 4 that take use of the 6-core design. More games in the future will be moving up to 6-cores, so this is an excellent processor to get started with. The 6-cores are also useful if you plan on doing any video editing, as the extra cores can really boost performance in that area. The FX6300 will run you about $110. For motherboard, I chose the ASUS M5A97LER2. This is a very good motherboard for this build as it comes with all the extras that you need in a motherboard. It has 4 RAM slots which is useful if you ever want to add a bit more in the future, 6 USB 2 ports, 2 USB 3 ports, and a very well made BIOS. It's overall a very solid motherboard with a bunch of extras and it's about $90. For the graphics card, I chose the 2GB EVGA GeForce GTX 770. This card is absolutely amazing for this build. This single graphics card can run any game you throw at it with very good settings. And as an added bonus, you get three free games with it. Batman Arkham Origins, Splinter Cell Blacklist, and Assassin's Creed Black Flag. For those who want a bit more out of a graphics card, there's a 4GB version of this card available for about $50 more. Which is good for an upgrade, and a good example of this is it works extremely well if you plan on modding Skyrim. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go that route. The 2GB EVGA GeForce GTX 770 will run you about $340. Memory for this system is rather simple, so it went two 4GB sticks of G-Skills Rip Jaws X-Series DDR3 RAM. It's rated at 1833 MHz, which is plenty for your games and some multitasking. Because RAM prices are slowly going down again, you can get two 4GB sticks for around $70. For a hard drive, I'm going with a 1TB Western Digital Caviar Blue. A terabyte is plenty of space for your games, movies, music, pictures, and it should be a great fit for all your storage needs. Always remember when you're buying storage for a PC, there's always an additional SSD that can run alongside your hard drive. An SSD is one of the best additions you can add on to a build, as it can boot up your OS quicker and can store a few things that you want to run faster. If you do want an SSD, I would recommend using a 120GB Kingston HyperX 3K drive. It offers great performance for a 120GB SSD, and it comes in at around $90. Just so you know, an SSD will not be added in the final cost of this build. This is just an added extra, and if you want to go with one, I'll leave a link in the description for one. It's your build to whatever you want in terms of storage but the Caviar Blue comes in around $60. The power supply is the most important part of any build because you need power to run your system. As I said before, remember to never be cheap with a power supply, as it runs everything, so make sure you pick a good quality supply over a good sale price. My recommendation is the Corsair 600 watt power supply. It's an 80 plus bronze certified, and it means that you can get a high quality power supply, and it actually helps you lower your power bill. You can get this for around $55. The optical drive in this PC is really irrelevant unless you want a Blu-ray drive, and mostly unless you use CDs, the only thing you're going to be using it for is to install the OS. I just went with a cheap reliable reader and burner which is a light-on. It's a simple and basic drive, and it'll only run you about $17. Remember that you can always upgrade to a Blu-ray drive if you want to go with that, and that's about an extra $40. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go with that. Finally is the case. Now once again this is where personal opinion or general cheapness comes in. A case can be what you show off to everyone or you can just hut it on your desk. To keep this build moderately cheaper but have some extras I want the NZXT Source 210. This is a good quality case, it fits really well, it has a simple style and it holds everything together with some pretty good airflow. It's your build to so do whatever you want in terms of a case but if you want a cheap reliable one you can get this for about $40. Well, there you go, guys. This is my guide for a $750 PC. That should be a great way to start, and you can constantly upgrade it. Now, the price of these do change often, so I'll be leaving a link in the description to PCPartPicker.com. That's a website where you can build your PC online and see the lowest prices for the components that you need. Well, that's it for the video, guys. So if you like this video and you want to see more of them, click on the like button. I have two other builds available, one for a $500 PC and one for a $1,000 PC. Click on the links in the video if you want to see them. And if you enjoy my videos, click here to subscribe to my channel. It really does help me out, and it shows me that you want to see some more of my builds. I'll see you guys in my next video, and I hope you have a happy holiday.